Coming to the stage, another duo that's gonna bring it. Y'all please give a warm welcome, returning once again, my girl Giselle, and for the first time tonight, my man, Jay Gott. Y'all let him hear it. This is what happened. We rode the waves of attraction into each other's arms. Denying the evoking power of pleasure. I was interested. She was interested. We were ready. I wasn't ready. I wanted in. I wanted out. It was a night I'd never forget. Three sides to a story. His side. Her side. And the truth. The night it happened. <laughs> my favorite song was on my favorite station. I was impatiently waiting. But really, I wasn't waiting, I was impatient. I wanted what I wanted and there was no time for waiting. It's crazy because this is one of our first times of us hanging out and it's already getting hot. She screamed, no, don't stop. But all I heard was, no, don't stop. When I picked her up for our date that night, she had this little black thing on and looking so damn right. I might have been reading the body language wrong, but when we were dancing to that song, I could tell she had on a thong. I asked her, why are you looking at me like Uncle Sam for. Because I want you. <laughs> While we grinding on the dance floor, I'm gripping her ass, I got my hands full. And I know this liquor isn't making it any better, and I'm sure me kissing her neck is making it even wetter. <laughs> and I'm just thinking about taking her home and making her moan, but I'm trying to be respectful because we both grown, and all I'm doing is injecting more liquid courage, and she's courteous enough to inject it with me. And because of that, currently I'm curious, so I'm trying to kill the cat. <laughs> So we heading back to her place and I'm hoping for a nightcap. And I'm also hoping for a night nap. You know what I mean when you stay up all night making love and you can only squeeze a nap in. I'm walking to the door, I'm joking, she's laughing. I heard I got one of the best hugs in the world so I pulled one out of my back pocket just for her. I'm gripping her waist, her arms around my neck and she whispers in my ear. Please don't stop it. So I don't. I pick her up and carry her over the threshold like it's a honeymoon. I lay her on the bed and lick her skin like it's honeydew. The moonlight highlights her assets and that's a part I ain't even grabbed yet but I'm hoping to. And I hope she's open to me doing it too. And now the table's turn and hate is what she's spoken to. Yo, I ain't just a local dude. She's screaming rape but these are all the things that she was open to. Mind racing, stomach turning, music playing, I scream. But my screams did nothing but highlight the bass of the song as it played on. Lying there, I thought about all the precautions and warnings to never get ourselves here. Never do they tell guys don't rape. Instead, they tell girls to stay away from low cut tops and lollipops. Don't be distracting, be plain. How more plain could I make it? I said no. My no was backed with the back of my forearm against his throat. I choked on my heart waiting for the song to skip for someone to hear my cry, but the song played on. I don't understand, I listened. Wore big hoodies, carried keys laced in between my fingers in case his eyes lingered, removed my switch, covered my hips, whispered to myself so that it seemed I had lost my grip. He gripped my thigh. I don't know why, maybe he was denying signals or maybe he got high over my cry, but I refused to let him win. That's what they do, they win, they win, they score, we lose. Losing control is normal. No, not normal, but excuse. As long as it's fused with confusion, mixed signal, and booze, it's not abuse. It's just a loose girl going back on her attempt to seduce. I still remember a piece of me dying on the bathroom floor as I was deciding whether or not I needed someone to confide in. I decided I would just deal. It would be better than seeing my parents concealed behind steel, just push it all away, forget it ever happened. That would be ideal, just let the music Play on. Rarely, Rarely all perceptions, perceptions equate rape. rape. 